Hi, everybody. Uh, before we get going, I want to give you a quick, uh, just give you 10 seconds to read the risk warning um, disclaim and disclaimer on the on the screen. That'll be really good. Uh, thanks, Sarah. Thanks, Jennifer. Uh, let me know. Uh, read the disclaimer, and then we'll we'll start uh, start things off. Okay. So good. So uh, welcome to today's webinar. My name is Ilan Asbel. I'm uh, currently the CEO at AutoChartist. Uh, I'm going to be walking you through um, our little tool today that uh, Blackpool Markets gives you uh, free of charge. So um, this is um, a complete educational uh, webinar. It's completely educational. No one's trying to pitch you or sell you anything uh, at all. Um, just uh, sit back, listen, learn, and put your guard down. Um, uh, as you can uh, hear by my accent, I'm uh, South African, uh, but um, I've been living in the US and Texas for about uh, uh, 10 years. It is 5 a.m. in the morning. I haven't looked at the markets uh, yet because I literally just woke up a few minutes ago. I'm still having my cup of joe, and um, it's going to be uh, really interesting to see what uh, what pops up because I can't cherry pick my uh, my example my examples. Um, so. Uh, uh, before I show you how to get hold of uh, Auto Charters, I'll quickly run you through what it what it is. Okay, so um, there is an expert advisor in your MetaTrader. I've highlighted it now. Uh, it's called Auto Charters, and don't worry, it does not trade on your behalf. Uh, but when you drag it and drop it onto your chart, it um, what it does and its primary purpose is to scan the market for uh, trading opportunities and trade setups. Okay. And so what it is um, for, for the expert traders among you, it's a time-saving tool uh, to really uh, uh, have you stop monitoring uh, 10, 12, uh, or sometimes even two dozen uh, charts on your, on your meta. Uh, uh, and, uh, and for those uh, kind of new, newer traders, the traders with less experience, it's there as a, really a helping hand um, or a sounding board uh, to understand what's actually going on in the markets, to understand the opportunities that are available to you, right? So so uh, both as helping hand and, uh, for the beginners and as, um, as a time-saving tool for the, for the experts. So the way to get hold of it, uh, interesting enough, I don't have the appropriate credentials, but I'll guide you. Uh, when you're on the Blackpool Markets website, um, uh, you can go to platforms, and under trading tools, there's a page called Auto Charters. And when you click on that page, you'll actually come to um, this page over here called Auto Charters. And it gives you a bit of a, uh, a blurb uh, around what it actually does. And then um, the way to get it is to sign up, uh, obviously, for your uh, Blackboard Markets account and access your client portal. And in the client portal, there is a download link. And it's really easy. It's one of those um, links, you know, when you push when you double click it, then it goes next, next, next. You agree to some terms and conditions. You keep clicking next uh, until you're you're finished the, the setup. Uh, it should be relatively straightforward the way you would install any, install any other piece of software. And at the end of it, as I mentioned before, you have this um, EA on your on your chart. Okay. Uh, and uh, and so uh, again, the way to the way to get it running is literally just to drag and drop it on. You don't need to allow DLLs, uh, change any settings. You literally do not have to do anything. You just drag it on and click OK. And barring any technical disaster, uh, you, should be, you should be up and running and scanning the markets. I'll, I'll run you through, um, you know, in, in, this, in this hour or so, we did start five minutes late. I'll try and still squeeze in the hour. Um, I'll try and run you through a few of the features, not only um, you know, which buttons to click in, in terms of features of the software, but I'll also talk to you a little bit about uh, technical analysis in, in general and the kinds of uh, uh, trading opportunities that AutoCharters identifies. And I guess I'll start there, right? There's a filter button on the top right hand side of this um, of the scanner. And when you click the filter button, AutoCharters comes up with uh, uh, a bunch of um, filters and checkboxes that you can tick and untick depending on your on your trader preference. Now, uh, by default, 
um, this, uh, the auto charters filter settings are set up for kind of the most commonly used technical analysis uh, techniques. Um, as you can see, we've unticked emerging chart patterns, it completed an emerging Fibonacci patterns. Um, and I'll talk about those during this webinar about, you know, uh, what they are. And you'll very quickly understand why we uh, don't don't have them ticked by by default. And then what we also do is we uh, don't enable uh, the, M, the 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 setups identified on M15 nor on M30. And the reason for that is simply the sheer volume of trading opportunities that come up on your on your screen. Um, even with the default settings, you can see that we have uh, uh, five uh, pages worth of information or four and a half pages worth of information uh, and so uh, you know ticking these m15 m30 charts it really gets pretty pretty crazy um, and unless you're watching the market uh, full time uh, you know and you have your meta open the entire day you know then in that case you can you can run m15 and m30s but i'll give you a hint of what that looks like um actually Okay, so seven up to seven, seven uh, trade, uh, you know, uh, pages of, of trade setups, which is which is quite a lot of trade setups. Um, again, if you if you work for a living and you're trading in the morning, shutting down your meta, you want to see what's going on in the market, then you you don't need to run M15 and M30. Just just tick that off, and that's why it's unticked uh, in by default. Again, the default settings are for general use, which you can which you can tweak. Um, let's uh, let's actually have a look at some of the uh, results that, that come up um, uh, uh, on our screen at the moment. So again, no surprise that the Dow 30 uh, has has dropped yet again. Okay, um, and so there's this big movement opportunity on on this um, on this first line item over here. And notice that uh, if you click the view button. Uh, the chart will actually change. I think I was like a, was it a Euro USD chart earlier? I'm not sure what I was on earlier, uh, but I clicked this view button and it changed to the US 30 daily chart. Okay. Um, and so, and it highlights this big movement. So we can see on the right hand side here uh, that uh, what order charts is telling us is that this movement on the Dow 30 is what we would generally classify as an extreme move. Extreme move meaning um uh, meaning it is um it is in the 98th percentile of movement right or greater that means only uh, in you know only uh, one or two percent of movements are bigger than this on the on the dow 30 right it, um you know i guess i guess this is a good a good time to to say that uh, these types of um trade setup identifications are made for general market conditions and I'm, I'm not sure whether you know current market conditions can be classified as you know uh, the run-of-the-mill uh, market conditions so this is a, a good example of when uh, some some traders or typically one would say um, uh, this this could be a, 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 a bullish you know a let me just get my drawing tool a time for a, a bit of a, a rebound um, uh, maybe then after that a continuation in the train, but certainly initially uh, some kind of rebound. Uh, these days, you know, I wouldn't be so quick to draw that assumption uh, regarding regarding a rebound. Uh, I think everyone's expecting more downside, uh, but we all know how these things change uh, overnight, right? Suddenly, um, <laughs> who knows? The Nasdaq could spike up again, and and the world is all fine, right? Uh, the other interesting part uh, around um, this uh, this specific situation here is that the Dow 30 also has another trading opportunity directly below it called consecutive candles. You can see it over here, and the consecutive candles uh, uh, tra trade setup is, is an interesting one uh, because it's slightly unusual, interesting enough. Although I see two of them here again, I think it's because it's because of market conditions, but it, it is relatively uh, unusual in that what um, what this is telling us, what order charts is telling us in this situation is that we've had, it looks like one, two, three, four, five, six uh, consecutive bearish days, okay? 
And, um, and again, the fact that it's come up on auto charters means that this is in the 98th or, or greater percentile. So it very, very rarely happens. Every uh, one or two percent of moves in general in, uh, um, on the Dow 30 uh, uh, results in a, you know, in a, a, a six, six uh, a consecutive downward, uh, downward candles. Uh, let's look at uh, a couple of other examples. Here's a big move on uh, the Canadian dollar. Uh, looks like it's losing a lot of ground to the US dollar. Um, and then, but let's let's get away from these big moves and actually look at a few other trading opportunities. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove these big movements and consecutive candles because now I think we understand what they are, and we'll filter them out and we'll look only at uh, some of the other uh, analysis patterns. So right now. Um, actually, uh, let me untick pretty much everything other than technical chart patterns. Okay, so here, what here's what they are in the market at the moment, the technical chart patterns. We have a descending triangle on the yen, a head and shoulders on the euro, a double top uh, on uh, again on the, oh, sorry, that was G, uh, pound yen at the top of the descending triangle, uh, yen on the double top and a flag on the DAX 30. Uh, let, let's have a quick look at what they look like and then I'll describe to you what these technical patterns are all about. So um, although it's on my screen over here, I'm going to give you a quick, uh, like a 30 second primer on uh, technical chart pattern theory. Um, I was actually talking to Anita just before this uh, webinar started while we were trying to figure out our technical glitch. And, uh, and um, uh, you know, I, 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 I guess I, I was saying to her that I wish I had uh, a couple more sessions with you. We, we were doing this as a once-off test to see if you guys enjoy this webinar, but I think it would be really useful for us to have uh, a second or a third webinar uh, specifically going in depth into technical analysis and the kind of the psychological theories behind a lot of these patterns. So if you guys are interested in those that kind of more in-depth discussion, then um, you know send your account rep um, uh, a message and say, hey, we want to see more of that uh, type of webinar, more technical and in-depth. Again, it's difficult for me to gauge the, the level of um, of uh, of sophistication uh, amongst you, I don't know you yet as an audience, uh, but but anyway, let let I, I got I got sidetracked, and let me talk a little bit about technical chart patterns. So um, I'm going to draw a little bit on the left hand side of the chart, and um, and and so uh, markets typically uh, they you know they they trade in a direction, and then at some point the the sell the the buyers really kind of fizzle away and say to the market, hey, I, I'm not prepared to pay more money for this asset, right? I don't believe it's worth more money from this asset. And so, and so the, the buyers dwindle away and, and start pushing back against, the, against the, the sellers. And so the sellers have to start dropping uh, their price. And then at another point in time in the future, the sellers start saying, hey, I am actually not prepared to sell this asset for less than such a price, okay? And so the 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 sellers start winning, and so the price starts moving uh, moving up. And then um and so these um so what happens that the markets fluctuate through these overbought and oversold levels, okay? And these are these uh, you know um let me change my uh, pen color. And and so the market goes through these overbought and oversold levels. I'm sure some of you have have heard these terms before: overbought, oversold. Uh, some of them, like we do at Auto Chartist, we we call these terms uh, uh, support or resistance. Resistance at the top, uh, support at the bottom. And so in general, the markets fluctuate through these uh, overbought, oversold levels. And uh, you know these levels are really difficult to identify, other than with the human eye. And that's really the value that AutoCharts brings to the table. We don't do things like uh, moving averages or Bollinger Bands or RSIs. This is not what we do because you can you can get those kind of studies directly on Meta, right? Um, there's no real value uh, to, to scanning them. What we try to do is we try to identify something that only your your visual cortex can can identify, right? And that that's really the value uh, we add. And so this theory of technical chart patterns of these identification of these support resistance, overbought, oversold, uh, psychological levels, um, you know, these are all terms that are used to describe the same thing. Um, 
the theory of of, of these uh, what they call chart patterns have been uh, has been around since the 1930s it, it was originally called dow theory in more recent times uh, people call it techni um, technical chart pattern theory um, and, and now we kind of have a general idea of what's going on so so what is the theory actually telling us okay so so the the let me switch my my pen to it and yet another color and and so this when the prices fluctuate between these support and resistance levels it's it's telling us that the the markets are trading within a reasonable range okay they're trading between a psychologically acceptable range or a a negotiated range middle ground between the buyers and the sellers of the market right and so the theory all uh, really plays out when there's a change right when the price moves out of these uh, support and resistance levels right and so let's just say the price hypothetically breaks through a, a resistance level right it goes through the overbought level it means that suddenly uh, there is a change in the perception of the value of this of this asset okay and the sellers are no longer prepared to uh, uh, you know stop selling at a certain price and the buyers are actually prepared to pay more they're prepared to pay a, a, a premium to what they were prepared to pay previously okay and so the theory then is once there's this breakout and so then uh, a new trend is going to form and the price is going to continue to go up and if there's a price kind of breaks down on the bottom side uh, on the short side then the price will continue to go to go down and that's really the theory of of technical analysis and theory of technical chart patterns um uh, specifically okay um uh, okay um let me erase my drawing objects um okay there we go so so now um uh, i just want to confirm something i'm getting a message from everybody uh, i'm actually getting a message from anita my counterpart at blackpool saying that my screen isn't full screen i think anita maybe doesn't have hers maximized is everyone seeing my screen um in its proper uh, form in its uh, in all its glory Okay, Anita says it is now. Okay, <laughs> okay, thanks, Anita. Um, uh, all right. Uh, if you do have a problem, technical problem, just drop us a chat or a, or or a question. Uh, okay, I'll try and keep my eye on everything. I'm trying to keep my eye on you on my left hand screen, my presentation screen, which is in front of me, and on my chat and uh, and questions panel on my right hand screen. Right, I've got three screens in front of me. I feel like I'm flying a, a jumbo jet. Okay, uh, and so. And so here we have an example on on on, on my uh, uh, pound yen daily chart. Pound yen is a crazy crazy um, uh, 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 instrument to trade. Uh, you know, I, I I don't kid when I when I say that it is. Uh, you know, I, I laugh. Uh, uh, people laugh at me when I when I say it's the killer of retail traders. Uh, pound yen. It is super volatile. Uh, okay, and um, but let's look at it as an example of what I mean with technical chart patterns right now. And so the chart pattern had a bit of an interesting start over here, quite a big trend over here. It uh, pulled back a bit, turned around, touched a resistance level, came down, touched a support level, came up, touched a resistance level, and now there was a breakout a day ago. Okay, so this one is about a day old. Um, so if you came onto order charters yesterday, you would have seen this breakout. So we're a little late to trade this. Okay, um, would it be nice to react a little earlier? Um, but but anyway, it is what it is. We we use the examples we have on we have ourselves um, have at our disposal right now. Again, I wish I could have um, woken up an hour earlier and scanned the market and cherry picked. But now you get the real deal.